Ah, what a beautiful day it is today. Coming to the shop, Kona, is fine. Come on, she shines. I wanted to wait until the sun came up. I had to wait for the perfect time. So yoga has become my thing as of late. I woke up today with the dog barking and just irritating me right off the bat. I hate when that happens. Like, the second I wake up, it's just, oh, fine, I'll get out of bed because she's just barking and I have to let her out. I am sitting here in front of this window, looking out. Beautiful green grass. It's a, a chilly 48, 40 degrees, something like that here in Texas. It's very nice. But I was doing some of these neck stretches in bed last night. If I get taken out of my usual schedule, I just forget sometimes to do things. Like some days I just don't do whatever that needs to be done. I don't like that. I think it's irritating. My podcast this morning was a little random. The general topic revolved around waking up, setting an attention, all that stuff. That's whenever things start to become a little bit easier, but also not so much. If you create a routine, once you have kind of a set routine, it almost becomes easier. So my advice to you, what I've been trying to accumulate myself is create a routine no matter where you are what you're doing or you know who's gonna come into your life and who's gonna leave what kind of job you're gonna have when you have to wake up all these things come into play because I'll get a creative flow and then it's like I can't I can't just stop I'm gonna take advantage of this while I have it so I could be up till 2 a.m. but then I can still wake up and do my podcast before 7 a.m. because that's kind of the idea It'll be a little more difficult once I actually get a job because if I have to stay awake. But either way, I'm gonna make it work. That's the thing, making things work for you. It took me a very long time to actually realize this or like understand it in any concept of, of the matter. It's just like, completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, I hate when that happens. On occasion, if you wake up in the morning, I, I remember this. I try not to be too complicated because sometimes I just get distracted and I can't stay on topic. The general synopsis, remaining calm. And the weird thing is, whenever it comes to your throat chakra and or neck pain, I found that small movements make a big difference. Little, little movements, you're almost internalizing it to where the movements happen inside. Try that. Actually, that's a good idea because sometimes like this kind of hurts, but then <sighs> blah. It is five days until Christmas, Christmas 2022. Where's the time gone? It's just disappearing. It's remain in the present moment. You don't dwell on it as much. You don't think about it. You're not sitting there ruminating on, I'm losing all this time. I can't believe I'm already 31 years old and I haven't done anything with my life. And that's subjective because I feel like I've done so many things and I feel like I just need to stop doing things, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> today <sighs> I really wanted you guys to understand how important it is when you're breathing and I, I for some reason I'm feeling like it's this new thing it really isn't it's, everyone does there's a lot of people that do this I've seen other people do this just the breathing to where you don't need the anxiety medication you just have to figure out how to how to breathe and respond in a, in a way that's different than what you would normally respond and that becomes difficult but with practice repetition and over time it becomes easier my advice for you is to the second you open your eyes in the morning just take a deep breath 
a conscious, slow, deep inhale. I wouldn't spend too much time laying there in bed because sometimes I feel like once I get out of bed, I'm not gonna be able to get back in or fall asleep. That's not always true. You can definitely get back in bed if you want to get back in bed. You can take a nap. The idea is getting out of the bed and just moving around, getting your blood flowing. If you stay in one spot for too long or if you sit still, your muscles start to get all achy, start to cramp up. So it's, it's good to keep the blood flowing and the muscles warm. Go throughout your day not worrying about what people think about you because you need to get blood flowing to your brain. Don't judge me, man. I have to do these things. If you would like to see what it is I speak about on my podcast, I would love if you would join. It's a lot of fun. I love sitting here and just like looking out the window and talking and stuff. I enjoy it. If you want to listen, go take a listen. You can find me on Spotify. I'll put links like everywhere all the time. I mean, I can pull it up on my tablet. Pull it up like this. There's me. Oh, I got like 10 episodes. I, I find it fun so far. I enjoy it. But anyway, if you want to check that out, if you want to check it out, go check it out. Be cool. I, I say some things that are cool and I feel like it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well.